All right, guys, I'm going to try something new, and I'm going to show you how to do lesson 2.3 using models to divide 156 by 13. So forgive the shakiness. I'm going to try and do this while I'm holding it. So first thing I need to do is draw a model of 156. I'm going to draw a flat. A flat is a 10 by 10 square. There are 10 rows and 10 columns. And so a 10 by 10 is worth 100. Then I'm going to tackle the 50 part, and I'm going to draw five lines. Three, four, five. Each line is worth 10 each, so here's my 50. And then last but not least, I have six. So I'm going to draw six unit cues. Three, four, five, six. And of course, that's worth six. So I have 156 right there. Uh, that's my model. Now, I'm dividing by 13, so I'll show you what that means in just a second. So one way I like to think of this problem is there are 156 children, and they're going to sit in an auditorium where they can fit 13 children in each row. So I have 156 divided by 13 children in a row. So I guess you could say my question is, how many rows can I make? Well, I'm going to take this flat and I'm gonna move it right here. Because I know I have 10 columns and 10 rows. So now what I wanna do is I wanna make my rows of 13. The way I do that is I'm gonna move three of these guys right here. One, two, three. I moved those three right from here down to here. Because if I add 10 plus three, I have my 13 columns. So now I've moved 130. You can see 100 plus 3 tenths, I'm sorry, 3 longs, 10 each, 30, 130. So what do I have left? Well, I have 2 longs left, worth 20, and 6 little guys. So I have 26 left to move into rows. Well, now what I can do is since I can't make any more columns, now I'm just going to make a new row. So I'm going to take this guy, move him down here. Well, I got three more spaces to fill. So I'm going to go back up here, take these three, and move them right here. I just made a new row of 13. I go back and I see, well, what do I have left? Well, you know what? I happen to have 10 plus 3 more. I can make another row. So I'm going to go, here's my 10. 1, 2, 3. All of my kids are now seated in 13 columns, because I can only fit 13 in a row. I know from this flat it's a 10 by 10, so I know I have 10 rows. I just made two more rows of 13. When I add them together, I have 12 rows of 13. So my answer to 156 divided by 13 is 12. I hope that helps. I know it was a little confusing of a lesson. Um, if you have any questions, please email me or go on Personal Math Trainer and look up Lesson 2.3 for extra help. Have a good night.